Hi, I'm Maria Lenhart with Meetings West Magazine. I'm here with Shirley Fong Torres, the owner of WalkWiz Tours and Cooking School. We're here in Portsmouth Square in Chinatown, and Shirley's going to tell us a little bit about what she can do for groups. Uh, Shirley, why should groups uh, sign on with, for a WalkWiz tour? Because we're a lot of fun. <laughs> Okay. Actually, uh, hi Maria, it's great to see you, as always. Uh, we work with meeting planners frequently, and also uh, corporate meeting planners, uh, as well as uh, all kinds of different groups uh, from all over the country and all over the world. Mm. And we always love it. We consider a group to be anyone, anywhere from 25 up to over 100 people. Oh, wow. Uh, our WalkWiz company is over 25 years old. Uh, I am a former high school teacher and I worked at Levi Strauss, but my true passion in life uh, deals with, with people and food and uh, walking around. This is just mm -hmm. perfect. And when, we, when groups come to San Francisco, we uh, always uh, like to listen to uh, the dynamics of the group, their main interests, and then I develop a special tour uh, around that. Uh, and right. I'm a chef, so mm -hmm. oftentimes mm -hmm. uh, there are cooking shows involved, mm -hmm. and uh, there can be raffles or giveaways of my uh, books and uh, mm -hmm. other little gifts. And it's because we want to make it so much fun for the groups that come. What are some of the things that surprise out of towners about Chinatown? Do you go to some uh, some unexpected places or, or special places that maybe the ordinary tourists wouldn't know about? Well, first of all, we realized that even though we uh, offer these tours uh, seven days a week, I have uh, over 10 tour leaders who work with me, and we repeat the same information, uh, it's brand new to a lot of guests who have no clue what dim sum is, no clue about the Chinese uh, architecture or history. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we do is give a narration about the first Chinese to come to this country and how they came to uh, called this area, Portsmouth Square, their living room from the early days on, and then how they evolved. And each turtle guide that I have, that works for me, mm -hmm. is from Chinatown. They're very articulate, and they're second, third generation. So oh, they wow. really speak from the heart, uh, as do I. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, the, our guests will really hear firsthand the stories about the Chinese who came to San Francisco. And then as we weave our way through Chinatown, there are surprises. And uh, some of the side streets and alleyways uh, introduce people that you would not normally expect, such as the singing barber on Ross Alley. Oh. He uh, was featured in a movie called The Pursuit of Happiness, oh. and I did a stint on Bachelor TV show, and I got him involved, and so he's quite a bit of a star now. But what happens is that when we go by his barber, and if he sees our group, he'll come out of his barber shop, even though he may be cutting someone's hair, and then he'll pull out his erhu and he starts playing for us. Now that's not oh, something fun. that's not something you would normally find. In addition, uh, oftentimes when our guests are walking around on their own, they'll see tea shop here, tea shop here, free tasting here. It can be very, very confusing. So what we do is we bring them to the top of the line tea shop for a focus on uh, regional teas and different kinds of teas and the tea tasting. And it's fantastic because the couple there uh, who operated our brother and sister and they're second generation. Mm -hmm. So, so they, they, they bring in a newness about uh, the information. Not that the information is different, it's just that they're so articulate. So you really understand green tea, white tea, uh, red tea, and uh, where, what, what mountains do they find them in in China, what areas. So in other words, it's very educational and at the same time a lot of fun. How great. Um, do you also do cooking events or team building, uh, chef events, anything like to do with your... Fancy that you should ask that because I just got an email asking for a team, team building event for tomorrow and so I was able to put it together. Right. Yes, uh, what we like to do is uh, when, when we can put it together in a restaurant is to uh, have a cooking demonstration, cooking shows, uh, not, not necessarily cooking classes because I closed my cooking, cooking school once I became a grandmother, but uh, we do go on location. Like I'm doing a show, mm -hmm. a cooking show at the uh, Marriott downtown next month, and there's a big cooking show for about 300 people. Mm. Uh, other times I would do PowerPoints, 
uh, and follow uh, PowerPoints about Chinatown, and the following that will be either a luncheon or also a tour of Chinatown. So it's, it's really neat to work with groups, and as long as I'm in town, I always show up at the lunch or dinner and go on stage and either do a show or else I give a talk to welcome everybody and at, at that time answer questions. And uh, I also am a food writer and, and so that means that part of my job is to uh, constantly eat in restaurants in San Francisco. Oh man, what a job! job. <laughs> and, and write about it on my blog. Uh, so, or for magazines and newspapers, mm -hmm. but uh, more than that, when we have our guests, we like to give a short list because mm -hmm. what is very mind-boggling for me is to go somewhere and they give me a, a, a book with, you know, 50 restaurants. But I like to short list. Uh, mm -hmm. So we who are mostly foodies on my on my staff uh, will will put together a list, uh, not only Chinese. Asians, other Asian, but Italian, because our North mm. Beach Italian neighborhood is fabulous. Right. And I love Italian food so much. And then we also talk about other cuisine, depending. Do they want right. five star? Do they want a rice plate? So we like to talk food. And then the cooking shows are always fun, because whatever, whatever I cook becomes uh, one of the courses in the di dinner or the lunch. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like there's a lot of great ideas for groups that you offer. Uh, so thank you so much for spending some time with us. Joy again, which means until I see you again.